outlining. One of the most useful tools I ever started to implement. Um, you know, I always used to just get an idea, a scene in my head, a character, and just roll with it and just write and write and write and see where the story took me, and I never ended up finishing anything. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the idea of outlining was kind of discouraging. Like, you would work out your whole story from start to finish, and that would be it. Like, you know, you already knew what was going to happen, so why take the time to actually write it out after you, you know, realized what was going on and where, you know, you'd end up? That's not the case. <laughs> So for me, every single draft of my story has its own outline. Um, I use it more as a guide about, um, you know, where I'm going and how I'm going to get there and, you know, why. I don't limit myself to my outlines. You know, if I feel like something isn't working out or um, a character isn't developing the way that I want them to, I'll go ahead and change it. You know, I'll add some stuff, I'll take some stuff out. You know, if something just you know, speaks to me, or if I feel like something should be there, then I'll just put it in and, you know, just go back to the outline later. And if it does end up working out, I'll just add it into the outline for the next draft. Um, and if it doesn't, no harm, no foul, I just take it out. I find that I get my best ideas as I write, but if I don't know where I'm going, I just end up floating into space. So I just finished the second draft of um, the story I'm working on, and it was basically a major rewrite. Um, you know, start to finish was a lot of adding things and taking things away and, um, you know, fleshing out subplots and, you know, certain minor characters. So a couple days ago, I started going through the draft and uh, making up my new outline. Um, it took a little bit longer than I thought it would just because I'm kind of trying out like a new outlining template versus what I was using before. And instead of going by chapter by chapter, I started writing it out scene by scene, which I'll explain in a little bit. Um, but yeah. I, um, I did that and then um, I printed it out and that's where we are now in time. So here's a clip of doing that stuff. <laughs> uh, basically what I have set up right here is I have my baby laptop and I have my actual second draft open on this guy. And then on my desktop I have my um, new outline so I can just switch back and forth between the two and then I have on like all open documents that I need, you know, about the characters. So I only have, I think, one more scene to... Nope, I have two more scenes to outline and then um, I'll be ready to print this guy off and sort of lay it out and look at everything as a whole, so... Basically, this is a template that I started to use um, that I'm trying out, and it's actually working really well for me. So um, each box here um, is just a scene, and for each one, so I, I break it up into three sections. In this first section here, I have my title of the scene. This is basically just for me um, as I'm going through to you know without having to like read the whole descriptions or whatever to just know which you know what goes on and that's just for me for at a quick glance obviously my book isn't going to have scenes for titles or titles for scenes or even you know um titles for chapters um and then underneath i have accomplishing which is basically what is the point of this scene what is it doing for the story what is it doing for the characters you know why is it here underneath i have characters present um so who's actually physically in the scene besides my main character Underneath, characters mentioned, so who is talked about, who is mentioned, who is thought about by the main character. Um, this is just for me 
um, just to see where certain characters pop up throughout the story and how, you know, much they actually influence the story. And then underneath, I just have the word count. Again, this is just for me. If I do end up um, moving scenes around in different chapters just to get an idea of how long the chapter will end up. In the middle section here, I have... Uh, day of the week, if it's relevant, the first half of, or probably three quarters of my book, um, my main character is still in high school, so the days of the week are kind of relevant when it comes to that. Um, time of the day, so again, this is a whole, you know, relevancy thing, um, morning, afternoon, evening, that kind of stuff. The setting, which is where the scene takes place, obviously. The weather, um, if it impacts the story at all, you know, if it's hot, cold. You know, my book starts out in um, the beginning of spring and ends somewhere in summertime. Um, so this is kind of important. And then right here, this big box is just the play-by-play. -play, so exactly what a summary of what happens. Um, any, you know, relevant information, um, specifics, things like that. My nails are like green because of this nail polish I had on. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so for an example, this is my first scene. Um, I call it the intro. Um, here we just have, uh, you know, what this scene is doing. So we introduce our main character and her mom and their relationship. Um, yeah, we mention one of the other main characters, even though he won't be in for a little while. Uh, right here we have characters present. Uh, Jewel, which is main character's mom, and then Bar Burgers. That was just kind of like a joke um, <laughs> to myself because I'm the only one looking at this. Um, and then characters mentioned um, who's here. So that later on if I have to, you know, physically search through my computer, like, you know, specific names, I can pull up exactly where they are in the book. And then my word count for that scene... Over here, I have day of the week, Wednesday evening, Charlotte, that's my main character, um, her house, and then they're inside, so the weather really is not relevant. Um, and then over here is exactly what happens. Um, yeah, this is just kind of exactly what happens. So then um, I just printed this out. You saw it earlier. I printed out for each and every scene. I have around, this was around 36 pages with two to three to, I think there's, some of these even have like four scenes to a page. Um, printing off on something. Okay. So basically, what I'm going to do now is um, I have my sort of highlighters here. Um, what I'm going to do is I think what I want to do is first look at everything as a whole and how intense the story gets. Um, I made myself a little key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these highlighters and outline like this box in kind of the intensity. So green um, will be easy, fun chapter, fun scene, sorry, nothing really much happens. Um, yellow will be just a little bit stressful. Orange will be pretty intense. Um, and then red is like end of the world. There really should only be like one or two scenes that get highlighted in this color just because that those are going to be the climax, those are going to be the breaking points, those are going to be like the crazy ones. And then pink for flashbacks because I do have flashback scenes in here and I want to see how spaced apart those are. Just going to do that. Just going to cut these guys up so I can lay them out on my floor. Um, and then take a look at everything as a whole and see where everything is at. So let's do that. Maybe you should know by now that I'm right for you. But every time I step to you, you change your tune. Sweet love death keeps us holding our breath. I step to the right, you move to the left. Not to mess, oh yes, I'd rather die to myself.
So this is it, I'm like standing over it, <laughs> my whole book outlined, um, no, if you can see all the different colors, but there's a lot of greens and yellows in the beginning, and then the closer we get to the climax, there's um, more oranges and yellows, and so I just gotta stand back and look at it and see how it looks. and. There's like a big like chunk of green and yellow and then like there's like other chunks of like reds and oranges. And now it's just time to uh, go through and really look at it and just decide if this is how I want to keep the pacing and um, you know look at scenes and I'm already thinking about moving some stuff around a little bit just to you know add to the story but I think it's really helpful um, especially because I'm a visual person. Um, to do this. This is the first time I've ever printed out an outline and like laid it down flat um, versus just looking at it on the computer and like because um, I've color coded it before on the computer and um, yeah I think I like this a lot better you know it's really weird <laughs> seeing just everything laid out together. That's where I'm going to leave uh, you guys today. Um, next up is just looking making sure the everything is laid out how I want it and We'll go from there into edits. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.